place. So, anyways. Strong Scott wants some company. Oh my god. I just want to say, before we start this video, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that I've had over just the past month or so. Um, I do really, truly appreciate it. I hope you are enjoying what I am producing. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and um, um, comment below if you want. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy my videos. I am recording this at the end of my video. As you will see, I got um, stuff all over the place. So, anyway. Strong Scott wants some company. Oh my god. everyone welcome back to another video so today's video I have been waiting for kind of a long time to do and if you will please excuse the lighting um, I am still not home yet I'm at my parents house right now house sitting and they have like the worst lighting ever to do videos so I do apologize for that um, like my last video with Dollar Tree Hall lighting was off on that I get that sorry um, but I'm here to do a couple of reviews of some Dollar Tree products. The Rapid Mac Cooker, and this is supposed to cook your mac and cheese a full box in 5 minutes versus the 20 minutes on the stove. We're going to try that, and the Rapid Veggie Steamer. So, um, I have fresh vegetables for this one. And I have mac and cheese and all the stuff for this. So let's get going. Okay, so I have my Rapid Mac cooker. One quarter cup of milk. My four tablespoons of butter that is already cut up. Mac and cheese packet. And last but not least, the macaroni and cheese. And here it is. It's actually orange and not blue, like that says. So I'm going to actually clean this out first and then we'll get going. So the instructions say as easy as one, two, three, and four. Number one, pour macaroni into Rapid Mac cooker and add water to the fill line. Right, got that filled give it a little stir number two microwave for two and a half minutes says to take it out and we are supposed to stir it to loosen all the noodles um, the noodles do not feel cooked at all stir it through loosen it oh microwave once more for two more minutes. Okay, so we're gonna get this in the microwave for two more minutes and then I'll be back to finish it up. Two minutes later, that's what they look like. And you know what, folks? It never said anything about salt. I'm gonna just stir it up a little bit. I am gonna add a little bit of salt to it. Sorry some pepper my butter I'm 
my milk, and my cheese. Okay, so I think the noodles as of right now might be a little al dente and a little soupy. I think if we leave this sit for, I don't know, five minutes or so, five to ten minutes, that will all get soaked up and be just perfect. So let me let this sit for a couple minutes, come back to it, and see what it's like. So we'll wait while we are waiting for that to set up, I'm going to try the Rapid Veggie Steamer. Cooks delicious veggies in the microwave in minutes. Add water to fill line. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so this is what it looks like. Pretty much what the package looks like. Oh, wow. Okay, we got it. All right, awesome. I'm gonna go get these washed and we will be back to see how these work out. All right, here's the mac and cheese. It has been exactly five minutes. And look at that, perfectly cooked macaroni and cheese. Let me just taste it real quick to see. Okay, well, it tastes like mac and cheese, obviously. Um, you might want to cook it just, I guess, another minute or so, depending on your microwave. Um, it is still a little al dente, but not too bad. So, I will give this one a thumbs up. Alright, I'm kind of excited for the Rapid Veggie Steamer. If this thing works, that will be a life changer for me, because I will start eating fresh veggies. So, all we have to do is add water to fill line. Insert steam tray, add veggies, cover with lid and microwave fresh veggies, two and a half minutes, frozen veggies for four minutes. So I got a couple of different things here. I got some whole broccoli, some half carrots, and some whole carrots. I want to see if it will steam all of those together. And if the half carrots will take shorter time than the than the full carrots and whatnot. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there and then we're going to put the lid on that. We're gonna microwave it for two and a half minutes and we'll come back and take a look at it. Alright guys, so it's been two and a half minutes and I'm not having too much hope with this. Though it is steamy. And the vegetables are still quite crispy. So I guess it would depend on how crispy you want your vegetables. That's still really crispy. And the broccoli is not too bad. Um, I would say the broccoli maybe another 30 seconds. The carrots probably a good couple of minutes. Yeah, because those are still rock hard. Alright, so I will give this a thumbs up as well. Um, I guess it just depends on your microwave and how, how much doneness you want them. Um, now it does say here, enjoy, microwaves may vary in power, for best results, add more, less, cook time to your tastes. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks!